Sarah Thomas, and I'm a teacher at Mandarin High School, and I'm here to persuade you to mandate the use of block scheduling. To start off, block scheduling is seven classes put into two days, an A and a B day. There are four periods a day for about 90 minutes, instead of 50 like the traditional schedules. But there is the fourth period class, which is every day, for only 45 minutes. Now why don't we allow the students to truly enjoy school, to wake up and be excited to learn? Block scheduling helps there be more in-depth conversations on the topic being taught. And the teachers have more time to help the students who are struggling and understand more. Then, afterwards, there's still more time for fun activities to get the students more involved in lesson. Now here's a video from Dr. Robert Kennedy on his opinion of block scheduling and the importance of time. As you can see, time gives teachers more opportunities to truly teach. Now, time is not only important to the teachers, but to the students as well. When students don't get the help they need, they give up, and they start saying they just can't stand school anymore. And they wonder what the point is if they don't even understand it from the beginning. But thankfully, in block scheduling, it gives time for lesson to be taught, questions to be asked, and for answers to be given. Each student learns in a different way, visually or auditory, AP or standard. Block scheduling gives the time for students to learn in their own way. As you watch those fingers rub the temples of the forehead, hear the deep sighs and yawns, and you notice you don't have their attention anymore, that's not a good sign. <coughs> students stress easily. Here's one student's reason for his own stress in a traditional schedule. And uh, you more so than just the amount of classes kind of piling on, and you might know extra curriculum is great for everything. Mm -hmm. And teachers stress too. They need time to plan a good lesson with an activity to get the students involved. Here's a teacher who uses her time through block scheduling to help her students. From my discipline of foreign language, there's more time to get really involved with the language. It allows for maybe after learning something that's not as fun, say grammar, to have a game that goes along with it instead of just learning it and then having a homework assignment. One thing that I think is very important is movement, and um, I try to get my students to move around the class a lot. Yes, because students are in classes all day that might require additional staff. But through that extra staff, different forms of teaching may be given, so the students will get different methods another teacher might not have been able to give them. Now what about college? Many parents want their students ready for college as soon as possible. Thankfully, through block scheduling, there's time to understand the material more and to get more into in-depth conversations and know all the expectations colleges are seeking. High school is there to prepare the students for college. So how can us teachers be able to teach the students if we don't have the time we need to teach the vital materials. Now, many parents worry about substitutes. They either don't have a lesson plan, can't keep the class under control, or they just don't know how to teach, which causes a whole 90 minutes to be wasted. Thankfully, through block scheduling, teachers have been taught how to teach for the whole 90 minutes so they know how much work to give to the substitutes 
and tell them how to teach the students. That way, the students are still progressing in their learning and there is no time wasted. In conclusion, block scheduling is there to help we have more in-depth conversations, more time to help the students who are really struggling. There's time for activities to get the students involved. There's times for there to be questions and help them get answered. There's multiple different types of teaching. There's less stress for both the teacher and the student. And the students can get more prepared for college, and the substitutes are more ready. So I'm here to tell you, it's time to change to block scheduling. Thank you.